everyone. Welcome to Children's Liturgy on Pentecost Sunday. So happy birthday, church. I have a helper here today, Julia. She's going to help me tell part of the story later on. But for now, we just wanted to say happy birthday, church. And tell you that today is a very special season in the church, Pentecost. It's the day we celebrate the coming of the Holy Spirit. So let us pray together, everyone, the gospel. This gospel is from John. May the Lord be in our minds, on our lips, and in our hearts. On the evening of the first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst. And he said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them their, his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ so there's a lot of things happening in that story this weekend at church jesus returns to his disciples after being away after his crucifixion death and resurrection and they are so happy to see him unfortunately he doesn't get to stay with them in person for very long and he tells them that he's going to send them a helper the holy spirit so he breathes on them and gives them the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But when he leaves after his ascension, he sends the Holy Spirit on its own. So boys and girls, you probably remember when we do the sign of the cross, we say in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity. And this is the special season we celebrate the Holy Spirit coming to the church. And it's when many, many people were baptized and became Christians for the very first time. So that's so very exciting. And that's why we call it the birthday of the church. So I'm gonna have Julia come back. And today we're gonna to do an echo story. I'm gonna say the first part and she's gonna echo. We gotta put your noise maker down. She's gonna echo. And when she echoes, I want you at home to echo too, okay? Are you ready? Okay. Yes. It's a little long, so everybody hang in there, okay? It's a fun story. We're going to retell the story of Pentecost. So here we go. It was 50 days after Easter. It was 50 days after Easter. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Jesus had already ascended into heaven. Jesus already ascended into heaven. And all his friends were scared. And all his friends were scared. Jesus had said, wait for the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Wait for the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. But what is a paraclete, his disciples wondered. But what is a paraclete, the disciples wondered. They just wanted Jesus right back by their side. They just wanted Jesus right back by their side. They were all gathered in a room upstairs. They were all gathered in a room upstairs. Frightened. Frightened. And trying to pray. And trying to pray. Trying to remember what Jesus had told them. Trying to remember what Jesus had told them. He had said, the Holy Spirit is like a wind. Jesus said, the Holy Spirit is like the wind. <laughs> you can hear the sound. You can hear the sound. But you don't know where it's coming from. But you don't know where it's coming from. Or where it is going. Or where it is going. Just wait for the paraclete. Just wait for the paraclete. But what is a paraclete, the disciples wondered. But what is a paraclete, the disciples wondered. They just wanted Jesus back 
right by their side. They just wanted Jesus back right by their side. Jesus had said, the Holy Spirit will give you understanding. Jesus said, the Holy Spirit will give you understanding. He will teach you what to say. He will teach you what to say. He will give you power from above. He will give you power from above. So wait for the paraclete. So wait for the paraclete. But what's a paraclete? The disciples wondered. But what's a paraclete? The disciples wondered. They just wanted Jesus right by their side. They just wanted Jesus right by their side. Jesus had said the Holy Spirit is like a breath. Jesus said the Holy Spirit is like a breath. The breath that gives you life. The breath that gives you life. The breath that calls out Abba, Father. The breath that calls you Abba, Abba Father. Father. The breath that helps you to forgive. The breath that helps you to forgive. So wait for the paraclete. So wait for the paraclete. But what is the paraclete? But what is a paraclete? They just wanted Jesus back right by their side. They just wanted Jesus back right by their side. The Holy Spirit will give you courage. The Holy Spirit will give you courage. He will give you joy. He will teach you the deep things of God. He will teach you the deep things of God. He will give you peace that passes understanding. He will give you peace that passes understanding. So wait for the paraclete. So wait for the paraclete. But we can't wait any longer. Because we can't wait any longer. They still didn't know what the paraclete was. They still didn't know what the paraclete was. But boy, did they want one. But boy, they did want one. So they prayed harder and harder. So they prayed harder and harder. And suddenly, the house shook like an earthquake. Oh, oh. Suddenly, the house shook like an earthquake. And they heard a loud wind. And they, <laughs> and they heard a loud wind. <laughs> and they saw tongues of fire on top of everyone's head. And they saw tongues of fire on top of everybody's head. And they all started talking at the same time. And they all started talking at the same time. They were all talking different languages. They were all talking different languages. They ran outside to tell everybody else. They ran outside to tell everybody else. <laughs> People from all over the world were there. People from all over the world were there. And they heard their own language spoken. And they heard their own language spoken. Everyone was amazed. Everyone was amazed. Someone said, they're just drunk. Someone said, they're just drunk. But Peter said, no, we're not drunk. But Peter said, but Peter said, no, we're not drunk. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. It's in the morning, the Holy Spirit came down on us. The, the Holy Spirit came down on us. It's the Spirit of Jesus right by our side. It's the Spirit of Jesus right by our side. We're not scared anymore. We're not scared anymore. We want the whole world to know. We want the whole world to know. We want everyone to be baptized. We want everyone to be baptized. And have their sins forgiven. And have their sins forgiven. 
and to receive the Holy Spirit. And to receive the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the Spirit of Jesus right by your side. The Spirit of Jesus right by your side. Now we know what the paraclete is. Now we know what the paraclete is. That day, they baptized 3,000 people. That day they baptized 3,000 people. And the church was born. And the church was born. <laughs> Pentecost is the church's birthday. Pentecost is the church's birthday. And the breath of the Holy Spirit blows again. And the breath of the Holy Spirit blows again. <laughs> Praise God for the paraclete. Praise God for the paraclete. The Spirit of Jesus right by your side. The Spirit of Jesus right by your side. One more time. Praise God for the paraclete. The Spirit of Jesus right by your side. Amen. Amen. High five. Woo! All done. All right, boys and girls, let's finish with our prayer and touches. Thank you, Julia, for your help. Here, one more, one more blow on your horn. What do you think? All right. All right, so let us bring our prayers to the Lord. Christ is risen, alleluia. We pray with joyful hearts and remember the needs of others. Everyone, today we're going to respond. Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. That the Holy Church and our Pope and all bishops, priests, deacons, and lay men and women may be guided by the Holy Spirit. We pray. Holy Spirit, hear our prayers. That world leaders develop the fruits of the Spirit and act with love kindness and peace and work together for good of all we pray holy spirit hear our prayer for those that are sick suffering or homeless and those who are poor and unemployed may find some solace and some hope we pray lord holy spirit hear our prayer that all young people faithfully discern their life vocations and that our parish community may be open to the transforming power of the Holy Spirit. We pray, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. That those who have died may live with God forever in heaven. We pray, Holy Spirit, hear our prayers. And what else would you like to pray for at home with your families? Let's take a minute of silence. We pray, Holy Spirit, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, may the Holy Spirit continue to inspire us and fill us with your grace. We humbly ask you to hear our prayers through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. God bless you all. May you have a wonderful week. And may you all stay safe and healthy with your families at home. We love you. Bye-bye.